The old money look is distinguished by an air of classic elegance, displaying a sophisticated taste that cuts across age boundaries. However, did you know that the hashtag old money has garnered over 566 million views on TikTok to date? With bite-sized explanatory videos about renowned families, East Coast versus West Coast wealth, and of course, how to style old money trends for both men and women, the hashtag old money has begun a trend across the internet. This classic yet subtly opulent look has gained a newfound special place in the collective consciousness. However, the question on everybody's lips is, why now? How old money fashion started. This way of life is applied to those who inherit wealth instead of acquiring it on their own. Understated luxury, often known as covert affluence, flawless craftsmanship and a refined aura, is embodied by the associated style it reflects. This style, which features pieces like blazers, loafers and collared shirts, is frequently associated with preppy fashion. It is characterized by exquisitely crafted outfits composed of premium materials. It's a timeless style that stays away from fads and ostentatious patterns. The essence of clothing and acting like a wealthy generation is aptly captured by this elegant style. The term old money usually describes affluent families that have enjoyed long-standing privileges and have inherited wealth and social standing throughout time. This trend first emerged in the 19th and early 20th centuries as a result of the fashion sensibilities of the upper classes. It exudes a subdued elegance that avoids ostentatious displays and the luxury of recent wealth. In this style, quality is key and well-made, long-lasting products are preferred. However, the big question is why TikTok, which is synonymous with Gen Z, are suddenly agog with the old money lifestyle. To give you a bit of understanding, permit me to travel back in time to the cradle of old money styling. The Victorian Era the 63 years that Queen Victoria ruled over Great Britain and Ireland, beginning in 1837 and ending in 1901, are collectively known as the Victorian era. Britain was incredibly powerful and wealthy during this period as it grew its empire all over the world. In addition, there was a lot of political and social transformation during this time, as well as quick advances in science, business and the arts. A greater part of these developments have influenced the way the world is today. However, the Victorian era was not just characterized by political transformation, but transformation in fashion, class and style as well. Large skirts and tight corsets combined to create exaggerated silhouettes, which were the hallmarks of women in the Victorian era, whereas the goal of menswear was to always seem respectable and well put together. In contrast to modern society, when people own a plethora of clothing, women in the Victorian era would have owned only a few ensembles. This is because making a single outfit would be expensive and require a whole lot of material. The corset is often the first item of clothing that springs to mind when thinking of Victorian attire. A corset is an undergarment that was first lined with steel strips to give it a strong construction and then with whalebone strips. In the era, people wore corsets as a symbol of their respectability and social standing and to help them achieve the ideal hourglass figure. Corsets were a mainstay of the era's fashion. Corsets were intended to give women support at the time and were frequently referred to as stays. Because they were perceived as the weaker sex at the time, women were believed to require this support. However, the Victorian era did not last forever because it paved the way for the Edwardian era. The Edwardian Era An unparalleled era of grace and extravagance resulted from the end of the Victorian Era and the accession of Prince Edward VII to power. It was the final flourishing of luxury and leisure before the Great War. While women's fashion saw significant changes, the day-to-night attire of Edwardian gentlemen was mostly unchanged, with dark-coloured, slim-fitting ensembles that were in style. The only noticeable changes were little variations in collar styles, jacket cuts and tailoring. However, this era would later give birth to the era of wars. Nobody thought wars could ever shape our collective sense of fashion. Oh, but it did, especially for the ultra-wealthy. The World War and Fashion The war that Britain fought in 1939 appeared to be the end of fashion. More urgent worries for the British public were now anticipated, including airstrikes and a potential German invasion. 
fashion in Britain was disrupted and dislocated in various ways by the war. There weren't enough resources or basic materials to make civilian clothes. Costs increased and materials used classically like silk were harder to get. There was a purchase tax and clothing rationing was implemented. This soon became the norm and it all just flowed seemingly into the next century. The Transformation to the New Era A general sense of optimistic modernity prevailed as the 19th century drew to an end due to scientific and technological advancements, as well as late Victorian historical and geographic discoveries. This was reflected in the styles of the day, with men's clothing carrying on the earlier fads of slender, form-fitting styles for daytime and evening dress. Although elaborate, conventional looks were still required for formal occasions, men's day wear around the turn of the century was businesslike and rather serious, with many of the Victorian frills disappearing to exit the styles that still influence fashion today. The Influence of Old Money on Fashion Old money style has experienced an incredible comeback in recent years, in part because of TikTok users' influence. A new generation finds it impossible to resist the modest elegance that this style embodies, adopting it as a blank canvas on which to paint their distinctive style. While high-end labels like Chanel, Brunello Cuccinelli and Prada frequently fit into this fashion trend, finding classic pieces that go beyond fads is just as important. In the summer of 2023, the old money aesthetic first appeared on TikTok. This hashtag is linked to quiet luxury, fine clothing and a corresponding way of life. Popular videos feature montages of signet rings, champagne flutes and, yes, you guessed it, a lot of Oxbridge content. Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl and other fictitious characters, as well as wealthy 20th century figures like the Kennedys and Princess Diana, are prime examples of this aesthetic. Many have attributed this renewed interest in inherited riches to the television series Succession, but No Babies influencers like Hayley Bieber and Sophia Ritchie have also played a significant role. Old Money, Timeless Fashion Even though trends come and go, the ultra-wealthy in society, particularly old money, have proven that they don't bow to trend pressure, they rather set the trend. The simple question today becomes, what's trendy and what's timeless? Looking timeless means maintaining your sense of style with grace regardless of the current trends in fashion and not looking dated or out of touch. Everlasting goods, such as a classic wristwatch, a gorgeous white shirt or a navy jacket, are distinguished by their everlasting appeal and versatility. They represent old money style by nature, undisturbed by the ephemeral nature of fashion fads. It's important to consider investment and longevity rather than simply purchasing an item to utilize for a single season or year. Old money style is a sharp contrast in a time when rapid fashion heavily influences trends. It challenges you to adopt an adaptable look that works for any situation. However, what precisely is meant by old money style? Is it about filling your wardrobe with opulent clothes or is it about showing off expensive clothing on auspicious occasions? It's the exact opposite. Choosing quality over quantity, classics over trends and simplicity over excess are key components of the old money styling. It's the perfect fusion of elegance, sophistication and delicacy. The fundamental definition of old money style is to invest in items that will last through the constantly shifting trends in fashion. For the old money guys, you can't take away fashion from their roster, as it is commonly said, you're addressed the way you dress. Do you think fashion should be among the old money folks priorities? Leave your comments in the comment box if you have a thought to share. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already to see more interesting videos from us. See you next time and thanks for watching.